All right, in the previous video, right at the end of the video, I basically asked the question that if we're considering projectile motion and um, at a certain point, we ask ourselves, what is the acceleration, right? We know that the resultant acceleration is straight down in A equals G, right? That's your gravity. This is my resultant acceleration and it's the magnitude is, is gravity, the, the g, and the direction is straight down. So we've got our, that is our acceleration vector right there. And you recall what we're doing is we were using um, 12.5, which is rectangular components for this, right? And then I asked the question, what if we analyze this problem not using our x, y components, rectangular components, but we, we, use, we analyze this problem using our nt coordinate system. Okay? What, how would it affect our resultant acceleration or our acceleration? Let's just put it that way. So what did we do? All right, there's our normal and there's our tangential well, without going into a full-on derivation, um, I hope you considered this. And um, what you'll find is that the components of acceleration will change. So the components, components will change, okay? But the resultant, the resultant acceleration Will, will stay the same. Okay? So, guys, the point that I'm trying to make here is whether we use our rectangular components or our normal and tangential components, it doesn't, it doesn't change the motion. It doesn't change the resultant acceleration. You don't just suddenly change the resultant acceleration because you're changing the coordinate system. We're just using a different coordinate system um, based on, on the information. But the resultant acceleration vector will not change, but the, the accelerations along these axes will change, right? So in this one, we're, we're looking at the xy direction and we're looking at the, the acceleration in the xy and the, the combined acceleration gives us this one, right? But now if we change our coordinate system to n and t, we're going to get an acceleration like that. Simply that a n, if you recall, it's because we're going around a bend. Okay, so we have a n, which is directed towards the normal. And then we're going to also have this component of acceleration, a t which is now, it's not in the positive direction of t, it's in the negative, because it's, it's essentially slowing down as it goes up. And then these two will give us this resultant acceleration, okay? So the point is, again, just to, to reiterate, the resultant acceleration will not change reg regardless of which coordinate system we, we use, but the components along those different axes will change, okay? So I hope that gives you a little bit more insight into using different coordinate systems to solve a problem. Okay, cheers.